A massive change coming for state leadership. Governor Jay Inslee announced today he will not be running for re-election. Inslee's been the state's governor since 2013. He said this morning, serving Washington has been a great honor and he's ready to pass the torch. So Fox 13's Nikki Torres is live in Everett for us. And Nikki, the governor still has about another year and a half left before his term is up. So do we know what his focus is going to be until then? Well, we talked to him this morning. He says he doesn't have any plans just yet. He did tell us, however, that he does plan to pursue his work within clean energy and beating climate change. So we still could see him serving the public at some capacity. You know, there's a season for everything. This is the right season. Those words coming from Governor Jay Inslee just hours after announcing there will be no fourth term for him. He says he made the final call this last week. I, I really thought long and hard about this because I do love my job. I, I get up every morning. I look forward to work. Inslee's been Washington's governor for the last decade. He is the longest serving governor in office in the U.S. We need to do what I've done in my state. In 2020, he made a bid for the Democratic presidential nomination, standing tall on an environmental platform, but was unsuccessful. Inslee is only the second Washington governor elected to three consecutive terms. We're doing such great work in the last week. We've had big progress against gun violence, protecting women's right of choice. Great uh, movement on clean transportation. Some of that work has come with backlash. The trio of gun control measures he signed at the Capitol last week already has lawsuits filed against them by gun rights advocates. During the COVID-19 pandemic, many rebelled and even protested against his political choices surrounding mask mandates, arguing he infringed on individual liberties. Though Inslee is most known for his passion to fight climate change. <laughs> That showed this morning at Payne Field where he helped unveil the development of the world's first hydrogen-powered plane. Inslee saying he's committed to a future with zero emission aircraft. I, I have too many strong feelings about the necessity of beat, uh, beating climate change. I have too many hopes for the clean energy economy, which we're building here in aerospace. I'm going to remain active. Not much fishing in my future. As for who could be the next governor, of a couple possible candidates. There's Attorney General Bob Ferguson and Hillary Franz with the Department of Natural Resources. Bob Ferguson did thank Inslee earlier this morning for his service all of these years. Hillary Franz also thanked Inslee for his service, and she said that she is considering it. She could have an announcement out within the next few days. We're live in Everett. I'm Nikki Torres, Fox 13 News.